up here at 10 o'clock. This pregnant mother had her entire life ahead of her with her kids. That's until her boyfriend, who's accused of killing her, snuffed out her future. Billy Adams lured Elena Sims with a promise of a party days after he was acquitted of double murder. And tonight, in a story you'll only see on Fox 13, one juror tells us they knew he would kill again. Fox 13's Jenny Lewis joins us live in studio with this powerful story. Hi there, Jenny. What exactly brought this juror to come forward? Mark, the juror decided to speak with us given the publicity of the case because he wanted people to understand their role. He says it was a horrible feeling to see Sims' death happening just days after Adam's acquittal. January 27, 2023, more than two years after being charged with the murders of Trayvon Alberry and Daniel Thompson. State of Florida versus Billy Adams III. Billy Adams would hear the jury's verdict on murder charges. On count one, the defendant is not guilty. On count two, the defendant is not guilty. Visible relief on Adams' face, but now we know the jury wasn't exactly comfortable with its decision. I want to make uh, clear that no one on the jury actually believed Billy Adams' testimony, but we didn't have to believe his testimony. What we needed to find was proof of guilt beyond a reasonable doubt, and we could not find that. Asking us to conceal his identity for safety, this juror spoke exclusively to Fox 13, calling the deliberations intense and initially divided. I feel strongly because the prosecution left gaping holes in their case and uh, they did not equip us with what we needed to reach a verdict of premeditated first degree murder. Adams claimed he was in fear for his life when he fired the fatal shots in a home recording studio. He even took the stand and testified in his own defense. Criminal defense attorneys not involved with this case say these kinds of cases are always tough for prosecutors. Especially in a case like this, where you have a defendant who takes the stand and he tells the story and he looks the jurors in the eyes in a convincing manner, explaining why he felt that it was necessary for him to act in self-defense and kill them before he could be killed. He was not justified in his actions when he shot and killed Trayvon Alberry and Daniel Thompson. The juror we spoke with says the state didn't present sufficient evidence to prove otherwise. The prosecution, while it's not required to provide a motive, didn't provide a motive. So we had to say either this young man, for no apparent reason, got up and executed cold blood these two men, who he may have come there with or may not have come there with, or his story. He says instructions were clear. The state must prove premeditated murder beyond a reasonable doubt. So the jury voted to acquit Adams, even though it left at least some of them with an uneasy feeling. To have to free someone when you thoroughly believe he probably was guilty, it's a terrible thing to do. I even said to one of the other jurors, the, the other jurors stated that he'll be back here. And I said, yes, but then there'll be another body. And less than three days after his acquittal, Tampa police would find the body of 22-year-old Elena Sims feet away from her young son sleeping. Police would quickly link Adams to her death, alleging he lured her there, then shot and killed the pregnant woman because he didn't want to be a father. When this juror heard that news... It came as quite a uh, shock, uh, even though I expected at some point he might reoffend. I didn't think it would be just a few days after we acquitted him. He believes the next jury Billy Adams faces will be in a better position. We had to follow the law, and I'm glad that in this second case, this second trial, there will be apparently overwhelming evidence of his guilt. The next juror, jury will uh, be able to take this person off the streets for good. We received a statement from the state attorney's office that reads in part, while we respect the verdict of the jury in the prior case, we disagreed with it and that is why we prosecuted him. We will continue to work with TPD to prosecute him for these latest crimes. Adams was denied bond in the most recent case where he's also claiming self-defense. Police say Adams admitted to the latest killing after the stories he gave him didn't add up. Jenny Lewis with us live in our studio. Jenny, thanks very much. It is Thursday, February 23rd. The year is 2023. That's kind of a shocking news report to to uh, just watch. <laughs> Young man, he murders two people, says it's self-defense. He gets acquitted of the charges. 
He's out approximately three days and he kills someone else. So this man has now killed three people. Three people that he's killed. Three. I am really shocked about what's happening in the black community, the way we murder each other around here. I mean, it's just, I don't even know what to even say. What enters into a person's mind to go out and commit these many, this, this many murders? And you all have to understand something, in the black community, this is starting to get out of hand. So many black, so many of us, so many of us are going around committing so many black people are committing murders, killing each other, it just makes you wonder. Y'all see this mutt? He out there acting a damn fool because he's outside enjoying breakfast. Yep, you just have to wonder what enters into a person's mind. Hey, Ginger. This ain't Ginger, this is Grace's badass. You the baddest fucking mother I know. Why? Why? So today I have a doctor's appointment, so I wasn't able to drink any coffee or I can't even eat anything, basically. I had a little light breakfast. And so I got a no coffee. I'm trying to go to the doctor's appointment today at 3 o'clock. They scheduled it so damn late. That's the crazy part. Three o'clock in the afternoon. But anyway, y'all, what in the world is going on in the black community with so many people running around murdering and killing each other without any regards? It's just like, listen, y'all can stay in the black communities around these crazy ass Negroes if you want to. I just can't do it no more. Uh, I don't care if it's family members or friends. I don't want to see or be around these crazy Negroes in their dangerous, deadly ways. They're too deadly. They're too quick to kill somebody over nothing. That man shot and killed those two guys in that shh, quiet, dog. Quiet, quiet. Shh. Shot and killed those two guys in that damn recording studio. Shot and killed them. <laughs> and do y'all think then he gets out and goes and kills somebody else? It's like, okay. <laughs> And gets away with it. Well, he got away, got away with the first two murders. They had him charged with these second two murders, so he might not be getting away with the second one murder where he killed his girlfriend. She, he might not be getting away with her death. So, and then I think he said near that that he admitted that he killed her. You get out of jail. You they let you let your murdering ass go home, and then you get out and you go murder somebody else. I'm just kind of in shock, like, in the jury, I guess they couldn't necessarily prove that he murdered those other two people. Look at this thing. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Your food is over there. You can go eat your food. Why are you so busy bothering me this morning? Hmm? Why? 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 Get out. Y'all breeders out here that's having these monster ass, murdering ass Negroes. Everybody got a gun. Everybody trying to shoot everybody. I keep my distance. <laughs> I keep my distance. I say, oh, no, nah, I got to stay away from these ignorant Negroes. I don't want them around me. I want to live near them. I don't want to be around them. I'm not going into their clubs and restaurants. I don't want to be nowhere near them. And all they want to do is shoot and kill and shoot and kill and shoot and kill. They don't want to live a normal life. And you will lose your life fooling around with these ignorant niggas. It just don't make no damn sense. I'm just like, okay, they let your ass go. They let you go home. And you get out and you go and kill somebody again within a few days. I 
I mean, you have to wonder where does all this violence, where does it come from? Is the music that is consistently promoting us? Is our communities the, the love of guns and violence? I'm just kind of really kind of confused. Well, I mean, it, it's very confusing to me as to why it is repeatedly. I like my freedom. I don't want to be spending the rest of my life in jail for shooting nobody. I like to be sitting outside on my deck where I'm sitting right now, listen to birds chirp over here waiting to go to my doctor's appointment at 3 o'clock this afternoon. <coughs> and I don't want to be locked up behind bars charged with murder. We're killing somebody. Over what? I mean, it just makes you wonder what it is. Murder after murder after murder after murder after murder. And here's the funny part. There was the terrible part. There was a man here, guy here in Atlanta that was killed at this Wells Fargo bank at um, in College Park. He was murdered about 11 days ago. Now his 18-year-old son is charged with murder. So his father was killed 11 days ago. Now his 18-year-old son is charged with killing some 15-year-old girl here in Atlanta. Um, it's in Fayette County, but it's in Atlanta, the Atlanta metropolitan area. You just have to wonder what is going on with these people. Everybody in you now. There's so many, but so many guns available out on the streets. So many guns. It just makes you wonder. So many people are able to shoot and kill somebody so quickly. In many instances, over nothing. <laughs> and these young women that choose these guys to, to, to date these monsters, and they know they have these guns, they know they're violent, they know this, they know this. But they lay up with these men any damn way and end up losing their lives. And I'm, uh, some of these women know what they're dealing with. Some of these women do know. I don't think I want to be dealing with anybody who's running around with a bunch of guns, listening to a bunch of crazy rap music, and running around trying to, to take somebody's life over nothing. I don't even listen to rap music, y'all. You come to my house and either soft jazz playing or techno music, or I don't listen to that hip hop rap bullshit. I can't stand it. I don't hear none of it. I don't listen to any of that crap. This damn dog, what is she chewing on? What is this? This dog, she always finds something to chew on. It's just amazing to me. She's sitting under my feet at this table. Is chewing away on something, and I don't know what it is. What you're chewing on? Your ass up here. Then you're wet. What are you chewing on? Grayson, get out of here. We out here on the deck. You need to be out of here too, don't you think? Grayson. Get your ass out of here. We out here on the deck, yeah, the door closed and good. Yeah, we had to close, close that damn door. Sit your ass out here on this deck like the rest of my asses. Enjoy this beautiful weather out here. They need to be groomed, haircuts. But anyway, I just wanted to do a video. I thought <laughs> you get acquitted of two murder charges. The jury finds you not guilty. You get out of jail, you go home. Three days later, you charged with another person's murder. It's like, okay, well. I'm, I'm speechless. I really am. I'm like, <laughs> it's like something you read in a book somewhere. Some, I, 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 some Is this real? But yeah, it's real. You have to just wonder what was going on in his head. Some of these people, okay, what is, some of these niggas are just daily, y'all. Just daily niggas. Let's just face it. 
We're dealing with a bunch of deadly niggas. And if you want to live, you better stay as far away from these motherfuckers as you can. You better stay as far as way as you can. I'm telling y'all. Get out the communities. Get away from their schools. Don't go in their entertainment areas. Just stay away from them if you know like I know. If you know like I know. If you know like I know, you better stay away from these deadly niggas. Or they will kill you. For no reason. But anyway, I wanted to do a little video about that or that report I saw. And I thought it was just kind of caught my eye. And I was thinking, wow, what in the world? Is, this is the craziest shit. I'm not surprised though, dealing with these ignorant ass niggas that y'all seem to love so damn much. But I'm trying to get the fuck away from many of us as I can. Family members and friends. I don't want to be bothered. What is this she's chewing on? It's like a string or something. She finds the stuff that you want, don't she? Grayson, I wish you'd go someplace. Why are you bothering me? Why? Why? Why won't you go somewhere? Get somewhere. Why? Now you come ginger. Why? Why are y'all harassing me this morning? Why? Why well, look at me just trying to bite, 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 bite. You want to bite, huh? Yeah, I'm going to grab them damn mouths, huh? Bite. You want to bite? Yeah, you know, huh? Yeah. They just want to play and play and play and play and play and play. It's ridiculous. All right. Enough. Let me take them outside. They can run around this backyard. I'm tired of their asses. It's too early for all this crap because I ain't had no coffee today either. Can I have any coffee while I'm going to no caffeine before this doctor's appointment? I'm having a stress test. Under my heart. I mean, yeah, I got to go to the doctor's appointments. I know how much y'all hate going to the damn doctor. We don't like the doctor. We don't like medicine. Okay. y'all breathe these deadly ass niggas into the world that we all got to be in fear of our lives from these ignorant ass negroes breathe them like animals <clears throat> don't make no damn sense anyway I just want to do a video about that it's beautiful outside today yesterday was 80 degrees it is a beautiful day in the neighborhood Quiet out here. No niggas, no gunfire, no none of that shit. Good. Keep it that way. It's sad you gotta be that way. But I can't go back to them here them hit them nigga neighborhoods. I can't do it. Too deadly and too dangerous and be around them heathens. Anyway, these are my thoughts and opinions. Today is Thursday, February twenty third. The year is two thousand twenty three. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I'm out of here and enjoy the rest of this beautiful. Thursday and take me a nap for this doctor's appointment.